In related news, there's a reserve in northern Ontario that apparently is going broke. Chief Wilfred King says his once relatively well-off community doesn't have the funds it used to, and the chief wants to know where all the money's gone. Faith Goldie's following this one. She joins us live from our newsroom. It's a head-scratcher. That's right, Karen. Well, Gull Bay is broke, and their newly re-elected chief is bewildered. He is wondering how a $1.2 million surplus was squandered in just two years and while he's trying to trace the money well the old chief he's nowhere to be found and the council before the newly elected one well they were all fired the day before chief wilford king was re-elected he's saying in light of the situation facing the northern ontario reserve he's calling for a full forensic audit we're asking for a forensic audit and if there's uh, any kind of impropriety in dealing with these funds going missing as a result of impropriety, we will definitely call in the police for a full investigation. And uh, this uh, investigation does seem merited when you look at the laundry list of grievances facing the reserve. A $1.2 million surplus squandered, bank accounts overdrawn to the tune of tens of thousands, checks to employees currently bouncing, equipment to help clear snow and maintain infrastructure. Well, they're all missing. Folks can't even get around. No running water on the reserve. School has been closed, unlikely to open before April. And $750,000 of housing... Uh, projects well those are only half constructed and there's no water or sewage there so although this story helps to underscore what kind of uh, fiscal uh, untransparency non-transparency can lead to absolute chaos it does show a little bit of light at the end of the horizon how one person can make a difference calling for an audit and we're hoping for the best for this reserve at building trust going forward with folks who live on the reserve and hopefully at the more senior levels of government as well no doubt the conditions are appalling calling it to say the least right now, Faith. That's very true, Karen. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay.